everyone welcome back to lucky by nature angelic vixen here so in this video this is all about the dino leash and i have so much information to give you let's get right into it this one's going to be another long video because it's so much information so what you need to know is you have to be a level 22 to make the dino leash it takes polymer metal ingots and electronics to make so it's actually really cheap to make and then you can make it in five different places which is awesome because you have options first being the tech replicator second the smithy and then because of the saddles you can either make it in the thorny dragon the beaver or the rg and i'm just going to show you here um, in the inventory so you can type it in you'll put it in there and then um, you'll add your resources and then you can craft them right there in your dinos so i want you to have all of that information now there are four different sizes to the dino leash the minimum the small the medium and the large and that's important because of the types of dinos that you can put inside the dino leash once activated um, you you can actually breed them and you can set them on aggressive and they will literally not come out of their circle so right now i'm going to show you what the sizes look like um, while i'm doing this i am going to let you know they are solar powered and if you're inside something like a building or even some of the caves, not all of the caves work, some of the caves will say that it won't work, you can add batteries or you can add a generator to power it. So you have a lot of options. And as you can see here, as I switch the size, you will see it as it starts to you know, change. So let me uh, go back up. And I like to give you this information that way you can see it yourself. Um, with the larger sizes, these are going to be great for breeding Rexes, Gigas, if you have a bunch. I did not find a limit, and as this video progresses, you will see me put in multiple dinos. Um, I didn't see a limit. As long as you can fit them in the circle, you can keep putting dinos. If you have experienced you know, an actual limit um, beyond what I tested, please let us know in the comments. That way we can actually share that information with the community. But in the video, you will see I have a ton of dinos in there and they seem to be fine. And I actually tested it with the Volanosaur. The Volanosaur does work in the leash. They did not list it in the notes saying that they made a change, but the Volanosaur is now working. So again, that is going to be in this video I am going to show you. So as you saw, the circle just got smaller and smaller and smaller. But a lot can actually fit even in the minimum. The minimum is going to be great for your smaller dinos that you're going to want to breed like dodos, um, trudons, and things of that nature. Um, and once they're activated, then you they literally will not leave the circle no matter what. Even if they're fighting or somebody's trying to kite them away, they will not come out of the circle. So right now I'm spawning in um, the Volanosaur. I had forgotten that it's called Spindles in the code. But... Um, I'm going to spawn them in and I'm going to show you how it works and why some people think that it doesn't work and then I'm going to show you actually how to get everything to work properly. All right, so as you can see, you're looking for a little lock icon. If you do not have the lock icon, they are not locked in with the dino leash, okay? So I'm going to walk around here and there's the little lock do you see it now one of the things that i noticed was working is that if you put the saddle on them you ride them you know out of the circle and back in that seems to lock them if you don't have that make sure you get it that's what you need to do and then for dinos that don't have saddles i will show you how that works um, later in the video all right so now you can change the size and when you change the size they will then start to move around in their size and then there's something else in the video that I will show you later with a dire wolf on changing the size that they're used to and then shrinking it versus increasing it, okay? Because again, I like to show you physically things because that leaves less room for speculation and then if you catch something, you guys can help me out as well because, I mean, there's so much information we're trying to cover. Sometimes we just forget stuff. All right, so that gives you an idea of how it works. You can see um, the lock on this one. So now I'm gonna move on to switching it to short. There you go. And as you can see, because the lock is still there, and now it will readjust to the short. And there's something really interesting with the dire wolf later that uh, I think you guys are gonna be interested in seeing. So it goes right to the edge. 
You can even see the line on it. This is very similar to Structures Plus um, with the hitching post. Actually, I find it more beneficial um, this way than even with the hitching post because you can actually move them. They can fight and you can use these, use this leash in concepts of like leaving your dyno by a cave, right? You're going to the cave and you can leave them on the dyno leash and they're safe. That way they can still fight and see, as you saw that one, I, I put these two right here. They do not have the lock icon. I didn't put a saddle on them. They are just wandering aimlessly because I don't have them locked. And this is the things you need to look for as you're doing this. You need to remember to always check for your lock because that is going to make you or break you when it comes to your creatures, especially like the small ones. They start, you know, going crazy, going around, and you're just like, oh my gosh, like really? So now I'm going to put the saddle on. And trust me, guys, it gets really interesting for me. I can tell you this is very beneficial and you're going to want to use this on like every map. All right, so now I'm bringing these babies back into the circle, okay? It didn't have the lock symbol before. Voila, now it does. This one does not have the lock symbol. I am going to add the saddle. I'm going to get on it, and I'm not even gonna go that far. Like I got on it, I walked it, and it seems like when you put the saddle and you walk it, you can activate it. You do not have to turn it off and turn it back on because that's what people have made the assumption. And I originally thought you actually had to turn the leash off and on um, to make it work. And that's actually not true. Um, not with anything that you can have a saddle. Now, overlapping, do you see where it says interference? However, it does tell you when you can actually put it in. It will go to minimum. Everywhere you go, it will tell you how much distance you actually have between them. Now look at, see how you can't do it on the other ones, but you can do minimum. They can get right next to each other. And I, I love this because you can line these up in sections based on the types of dinos that you want to breed or having them roam around your base, I, this is going to be great. I mean, think outside the box, guys, because th there's so many benefits to the dino leash. And as you see, I'm walking, it started increasing in size. So I can put this one in. Now let's go up to the platforms because people like to build bases on platforms. Okay? I can do medium. I can do medium range on this platform. That is the max that I can go. I can go down from here, you know, I can go to minimum and things like that. I can't do long. See how it's blocked? But it already told me that. It, as you're moving it, it will actually tell you exactly how far you can go based on your other, you know, dino leashes. I, I love this. And you don't have to destroy them. You can pick them up. So it's like Structures Plus. Oh, you have no idea. That made my day when I saw that because I love Structures Plus on PC, but I like to play Xbox with my friends. So now we finally have something that I feel like has carried over from there. Now, let's go to the higher um, platform because I moved one up and I want you to see the options that you have. Okay, now you can do all of them. Problem is, is you can't see exactly where that is. Like, you know it's really a big circle, but it doesn't go all the way to the ground. Okay, and I'm just going to show you, I know it's common sense, but I feel like it's imperative that I give you this directly. So you can see my other ones. You know that one is set to long, but you can't see it. So what size is probably beneficial to the platform? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you where it literally works the edges. This is the size for a platform to basically encompass your entire base. Okay, you can actually go up one. So you can go up to short. So it's short. The platforms are short. You can do minimum, but short literally goes from edge to edge pretty much. You can see where it would go. Isn't this incredible? Oh, I am loving the dino leash. What are you guys thinking so far? I'm trying to cover everything utterly possible that I could possibly think of. That's why if you guys think of anything, let me know. Now I do wanna show you about putting them on the tech bridge. Again, common sense, it wouldn't work, but I like to show it, that way you know it for sure. So it does not work on the tech bridges. Now, going inside a building, okay? You don't have the solar power because you have a cover. Again, they work in some caves, not in all of them though. All right, so I'm putting it in. You can put them inside a building, it says unpowered. Okay, so now you need your batteries. 
your batteries we did a video if you guys don't know we did a video I will link it um, in this video uh, in the description so you know exactly how to do this but I will just brief you on it basically you make your battery you go to a city terminal you stick it in the city terminal and then it charges and I'm going to show you here but there is a detailed video on this um, so make sure you go and check it out if you don't know or if you haven't seen it stick it in there it will charge up you take it back to your dyno leash stick it in and then voila it works but you can also use um, your generators as well so there's a lot of options you have a ton of options with this thing now it's powered okay so now let me show you what it looks like we'll put it on long let me go out and you can pretty much cover your entire base depending on how big your base is right so you can have a nice pretty circle kind of you know set to the edges of your base some bases of course are way bigger than this some are smaller but you can keep your dyno leash safe especially in pvp by putting it inside but then having it set you know around look look at the minimum and as you can see here let me go around here to give you a nice view you can see the size of this and it covers my entire little building so if you're going to have your little guys inside, they will no longer escape. You know how sometimes you will put them inside and then they're wandering and then you open the door and then they actually go out. I've had dodos do this to me and jerboas. It's kind of frustrating to be honest. But now they can't go anywhere. They can might go out the door, but then they're stuck right at the edge. You can throw them back in. No worries of chasing dinos around your base. Okay. All right. So now let's move on to the next thing that I want to show you. I actually really enjoyed making this video because I was discovering so many things that I was just getting more and more excited by the minute because I was like, this is freaking incredible. We finally got something super cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. I actually like a lot of the things in Extinction, but you know, this was just one of them that really made my day. And when it comes to testing, sometimes it's really grueling and sometimes it's super fun. All right, so now I'm going to have the Giga follow me inside the circle. Okay, it doesn't have its saddle on. It is not locked Did you see that there's no lock symbol so even though i spawned it outside the circle had it follow me in the circle um, via follow it did not lock it did you see that I'm, I'm showing you this because i don't want you losing your dinos and i feel like it's imperative that you actually know what triggers the lock where you don't have to turn it off and on but you can just basically put the saddle get off it you know and voila now it's locked do you see it's locked we're good okay now I'm gonna show you this because I know that I was curious about it now I'm gonna set it to wander and it will eventually start to move as they always do the same thing goes for Rex's um, they it takes a little time but as you can see the Volanosaurs uh, walk really slow kind of like they're walking like in molasses you know like it's really slow that's one of the greatest ways to know that they are locked is because they go into this like slow mode so now I have it set to follow me and I want you to see this. This works also um, with things attacking. They will not leave the circle. And even if they are enraged, they will not leave the circle. They will fight it out to the death. Okay? So as you saw, I even had it set to follow. This works for every dino. You can have them set to follow you. They will not leave the circle. There's so many benefits to this. The, the only thing that I don't like about it is... The red line I wish we had an option to turn off the red line once we know they're in our circle I wish they had that ability because I don't like the red circle but it's something that I can grow to live with just because of the benefits of this okay so now I'm gonna show you the little guys because a lot of people are gonna be using these for little dinos to breed I know I am so we've got our dodos you throw them in now these don't have saddles and you're probably going well how does this work if we don't have saddles because the other way it works with saddles but of course these don't well this is where you actually have to turn on and off or yeah turn off the dino leash and then turn it back on to activate it so i'm going to show you now at first they may trick you and make you think oh they're good because they're not going outside the circle don't let them fool you look for the lock the lock is what's important see how it's it's not locked but it's not going outside the circle you don't want to let them fool you you always have to look for the lock icon okay so I'm gonna let it play out so you can see now see now they're finally drifting out and trying to run away from home going no okay so 
when it comes to this situation with the little guys that do not have saddles, you do need to turn it off and on. Ugh. Oh my gosh, keyboard work. <laughs> All right, so now it's deactivated. Now I'm going to activate it. And now you see the lock icons. Now I can set them to wander and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm too excited. I'm so excited to make this video. <sighs> okay, there we go. Now, look, they don't go anywhere. They stay right in your circle. So if they have saddles, you can just take them out of the circle and back in, lock symbol. If they're the little guys, turn it off and on, boom, done. Now you just have to be careful because if you're adding basically more dinos to a circle that's already working, your other ones could then drift out. So just keep that in mind. You may end up throwing a couple back in when you turn it off. But if you're doing it strategically, you should be fine. All right, so now we're moving on to the next thing. I am so excited to make this video. It is, it's funny how when it comes to some of this stuff, it's so unbelievably exciting to share with you guys. I love what I do. You guys don't know how much I appreciate the opportunity <laughs> to be able to do this type of stuff. I love it. It's so much fun. It's not just even about playing. It's about finding all of these cool things and then being able to share them with you. All right, so the reason I'm using a dire wolf, it's just easier to see. As you can see, the lock icon is not on. They do try to trick you. They make you think everything's fine, okay? So now I'm gonna put him on aggressive because I wanna show you this stuff in detail, okay? He is not set in the circle. But then of course, I'm going to set him in the circle and then you'll get to see how he will not leave the circle no matter what. If something comes into his circle, that is when he will attack. He will go right to the edge of the circle, but I'm just basically gonna give you a nice big broad view of this because I feel like you deserve to see it in action versus me just tell you how it works because I don't like to do that. I just don't. I don't think it's fair. And I, I don't like it when other people do that because then I'm like, well, how do I know that's true? And now I have to go and test it myself, right? Now this is funny, watch this. They make you think things, but it's actually not true. Sometimes it's just really glitchy. All right, so he's chasing me, he's chasing me. And he stopped. Don't be fooled, guys. I just want to let you see it. Do not be fooled. They can go through the circle, okay? Watch. Okay, now we went through the circle. I didn't want it to fool you if sometimes, you know, you might see that and then you're like, oh, I'm fine. No, no, that's not the case. They can go through the circle. They will come in your circle. But I don't know, sometimes things are glitchy. That's why I left that for you to see so you could actually see it yourself so you're not blindsided by something like that. Because I don't want you to get attacked thinking, oh, they won't come in my circle. No, that's not the case, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna keep messing with these guys so you can kind of see how it works. Now, remember, he's not locked in here, but he hasn't run out because nothing has really triggered him to run out. So, if you're not paying attention to the locks, that can totally mess you up. See? Now he finally ran out. He finally had a reason to run out. So now I'm gonna basically bring him back in and lock him down. So always look for the lock. And sometimes, you know, you get so busy you're not paying attention and you think, oh, he's fine, he's not going out. And then all of a sudden you've now lost your dinos. So as you saw, the lock is there, okay? And then I wanna show you how when you minimize the, uh, the circle after this. Let me see if I can find anything, maybe. You're in my way. All right. I'm trying to see if I can get anything close because I want this to work on the testing. Let's see. I've cleared out this area just because I have literally been testing for days and days and days. All right. Let's see what we can do here to make this work. All right, now there we go. Here we go. Watch. See? Now it's gonna fly off and it's just, it can't go anywhere because it's locked into the circle. Now this will work because of the fact that I was able to uh, get it to attack that. So it's gonna be sitting on the outer section of the circle. So let me just look around here and see what's around to make this work. Because I want to want you to see this because this definitely was inter an interesting find. All right, so there is that bird. That is what I'm looking for. Now, I'm going to shrink it. We'll go to short. Now, see? But it still has the lock. Do you see the lock? It's still locked to the other circle. Do you see it? 
So they're going to stay. If it shows the lock symbol, they're going to stay in whatever circle you made. Now think outside the box with this, guys, because that's important. And then basically to reset it in the new circle, you have to get on it and move it. Now it's set to this circle. Watch. Because before, see how it wants to go through? Because before the circle was out there. Okay? So... I love this. I absolutely love this. You have no idea my excitement and joy. Now let's go to the island because I want to show you in water. Because now, oh, water dinos are going to be a cinch to breed. They won't move. You don't have to go through drama and stress. Things are great. I This is so great. You have no idea. This was one of the things that I wanted for official because that it's just going to make such a difference. Now, again, I'm going to show you because I could tell you, but it's better if I show you. You cannot put anything on platforms on dinos, okay? It will go on cliff platforms. It will not go on platforms for dinos. That includes the purser. All right, so I have another one down here, but I'm just showing you the interference because um, I have my uh, squids. You know how I love my squids. So, of course, I'm showing you <laughs> with the squids. I don't know. I'm so happy, guys. You have no idea. All right. So it's in the water. We can set it to all the different distances. You would probably think, oh, it has to be super humongous for dinos, for the, um, you know, water dinos, because they're so big. No, that is not true. I will show you because, it, and it's better to show you. So here's your circle. As you can see, they fit. You got to have them right next to each other, but they fit. No problem. You could actually make the circle smaller. I'm trying to get up higher so you can see the circle um, that way you can actually see the actual size all right there we go now it's starting to come into focus do you see it that can be much smaller you don't even need that much room because as long as their bodies are in the circle you're good and you can set them to wander they will breed they will constantly breed and you're good to go right look at this this made my day this so made my day because now you can have your water bases nice and clean versus all these sections where you're, you know, trying to breed. <sighs> Life is good. Life is very good. All right. So we've gone to short. Let me go up. Just takes a second because I can't fly out in GCM unless I'm on. Uh, see, let me see if I can get some distance here and show you from the water. I prefer to go above because it's just, it's much easier to show you the actual circle. So let me go up and out. I would, I just feel better about giving you more accurate information this way. All right, so look, it doesn't even need to be that big. Look how small that is. And think about how many you can have because they will butt up right next to each other. So as long as they don't overlap each other, you're great. You can have all of your dinos set in sections because of this. Think about all of the amazing things that you can do with these. Oh, life is so good. Life is amazing. All right. Now let me set them to wander just so I can show you that it works. They don't move. Life is good. I am so happy, guys. I'm sorry. I know. I drive you crazy. But oh, wild card. Thank you. Thank you for this. Again, it's just the red circle that bugs me. I wish they had a feature where you can turn it off and you don't need it um, on all the time. But... It is what it is. I can live with that. I'll just deal with it. And there you go. They're breedy. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. I'm so happy. All right, guys. If you have anything else that you know about that I missed, be sure to share it in the comments. But that's it for this video, guys. And until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race.